Hello and welcome <laughs> to episode 3 of Titan's Grave here on the Greater Resurrection Channel. Here, joined today again with my wonderful friends and guests. Um, for another episode, guess, you know, they have that given up on me and they think, still think that <laughs> my game is fun. It is fun. Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> before, <laughs> before we get started, um, like always, we go like a few announcements and all. Um, first, as you may notice, uh, bottom right corner, uh, our lovely Celine, aka Avalyn, here. Um, not here, she's not going to be joining us for the session just to, due to, you know, life and things and all. Uh, we will miss you very, very much. Uh, get some rest. And we hope to see you next week. Uh, b uh, besides that, other you know general announcement here at Area Restoration, we are dice filled with die hard dice. Uh, if you do exclamation dice in the chat, it will bring you a little lovely link to uh, the dice set that we are. Uh, oh, thank oh. you, fair. <laughs> uh, uh, that we are uh, getting a, a big kickback on this month. The results is dice set. This is a beautiful set. Um, especially, uh, you know, if I had like a fiery druid, like fire wizard type, or even sort of character being played, that's probably the dice that I would use just because of those like lovely green fire color. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, I might use it once we do our avatar DD one, uh, one shot return. I might add it to my dice set there. Yes, it is beautiful. Uh um, um, I actually used the a code last night when I went on my Boo Boo yeah. the Fool dice yeah. shopping spree, and I got those Solstice dice. I'm very excited. Yeah, I can't wait until mine comes in. Yeah, because uh, I also got the Opera Greeks yes. uh, set. Yes, yeah, same. Yeah. Uh, Kelly Butler, uh, aka the Opera Geek, friend of the channel and friend of many of us here, mm -hmm. um, did a collab By with Die Hard Dice. Um, Come on. And it is amazingly, yeah, it's Come amazingly on. beautiful. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm getting a set. Yeah, these you know, are you, the, you order uh... a sticker and get a free, uh, you know, set of it yeah. of dice, which is great. Because <laughs> you know, everybody really just wants that Scotty sticker. That's oh what yeah, it's all about. I mean, it's oh, yeah. you know, oh, yeah. hands down. Everybody wants that, you know, the Scotty sticker, and you know, just get a bonus um, dice set. I'm gonna do a little brag here real quick. When I was mm -hmm. in New York, I got to meet Kelly and Scotty. All right, weird flex. <laughs> not a weird, not weird. I'm just saying, one, Scotty is that small. It's not an illusion, he is that small. He's so dorky. <laughs> he spent like five minutes trying to eat a piece of celery. That's all I'll say. I mean, yeah, so he has barely any teeth, I do believe. So yeah, he has like yeah, four teeth, <laughs> but it was really funny. Yeah. That's all. That's it. I'm He's done. a lovely pup. No more flex thing. Uh, in terms of announcement, I think that is pretty much covering it on my end because I don't have any other cool things to announce so far. Uh, I think uh, actually there might be one little thing that I may want to mention. Uh, I. Uh, one of our stretch goal was to have Tiny Tots Ice Part 2, the trip to the zoo, as a one-shot. Uh, yes. I do believe, uh, although it has not been announced on our Twitter, so it's going to be a Twitch mirror. Aha! Thanks to the people that you know just follow us on Twitter, they will hear about it later. I do believe uh, that the scheduled date will be July 31st at 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, um, uh, unless this yeah, change here and there, uh, but you know, that's you know the current announcement and anything that change will be announced on our Twitter. I should make a nice little post, and I do believe the amazing Fair Bear right there is going to be in it again. Yes, I am. I'm very excited but, um, to bring back Hepsiba. The gems. I, yes, I love Hepsiba so much that I like made her a full character. <laughs> Oh my gosh. For like her to be like a, for like an older version of her. <laughs> and if you have not caught, you know, the original game, uh, if you can actually just go on our YouTube page, all the shows, the games that were played on those two days have actually been uploaded. 
uh, finally i want to give a big thank you to red justice for helping me with that they were absolutely amazing like fighting those vods day two was a massive like 14 hour vod so it Ooh, was a yeah. humongous file and terrifying and my computer was like yeah let's create a temporary file the same size so um <laughs> yeah it, it was a lot uh, it was something but i appreciate the help that it would provide they provided and it is now available you know for reviewing so you can also catch that you know uh tiny thoughts eyes the first game and see what kind of chaos that was and be 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 prepared for a trip to the zoo I feel I feel already for you know everything that will happen <laughs> um, besides that I don't have any other announcement on my end I'm not sure I know I do see that we uh, having a kid is probably experiencing some technical difficulties probably due to you know infrastructure and all that yeah so that may be a thing tonight but uh, Wait, who's having issues? Kitty? I oh. mean, as per usual. Sorry, Kitty. Not to point. Listen, <laughs> Kitty's never done anything wrong her entire That's life. Right. It's just her internet. You know, it's just her internet, you know. Now, if, if somebody, you know, can, you know, put the word out there to, you know, get Kitty a better internet and make things happen, it would be very appreciated. Uh, yeah, yes. I doubt Thank this you. will go anywhere, but, you know. <laughs> get uh, uh, hashtag get kitty better internet training on Twitter or something. <laughs> Honestly, if that would if that would that would be a thing, it would be absolutely dope, and I will laugh. Um, yeah, uh, Jiggles, fair kitty. Any announcement on your end on cool things that you're doing? Um. Uh... Just my usual stuff. Um, mm. I'll probably announce this at the end of the stream too, but uh, Saturdays you can catch me over on Rolling These 20s at 9 p.m. Eastern for um, our the Vampire the Masquerade campaign, Philly by Night. We just returned last week. Um, and yeah, it's shaping up to be a very interesting season. And of course, mm -hmm. the Tiny Tots thing. Yeah. yeah, I can't wait for that. Um, <laughs> I should have new Dicerama up next month sometime. Ooh, Fingers Rama. crossed. Yeah, new ones. Um, With homemade I don't dice. Have anything at the moment. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, we can always catch Jiggles when he when he stream on his channel, playing wonderful games and sometimes painting minis. Uh, Pretty really awesome. I love watching the, uh, when I can catch those mini painting streams. Um, all right. Well, I think that you know is everything for what we may have as announcement for this week. So let's roll in the video. Be right back. And we are back. Oh, Ooh. I just noticed a little something here. Uh, for some reason, I, oh, Kitty is no longer showing on the stream. All right, let me, let I us died. fix that. Yeah, that's what happened. You know, when the internet goes wonky a few times, and 
Yeah, internet hates me. <laughs> the question is, there can they go. hear me? Yeah, they can hear you. They can hear everything. Everything. Oh, no. They heard all of it. All of it. All right. I'm in trouble. So. <laughs> all right. He's going to cut that from the VOD. <laughs> so. Where we left off last session. Uh, the party travel with the Beer Baron to Rukor. No. We visit, you know, this wonderful brewery of wonderful beers and other various odd objects and things and all. Uh, at dinner with him, gentlemen, and the grumpy old Sarian housekeeper. And uh, Keggy's still the best bot. Uh, mm. And as, you know, they were probably getting ready for, you know, to leave the day after. Uh, there was an incident in the brewery. Some odd, odd, ancient creature that hasn't been seen for over a hundred feet uh, since Chaos War. Seemed to have made surface and decided to party at Brewcor. Big trouble in a little Brewcor. Um, creating chaos, um, injuring and killing a few employees, but thankfully our group of brave venturer, uh, were able to dispose of them, those odd terrifying creature, um, before any actual, you know, structural damage was done and the beer was ruined for the next harvest of beer. Um, <laughs> so, payment was received, you all are rich as fuck, comparative to, you know, relative to, you know, the average person. Welcome to, you know, the almost top 1%. Um, <laughs> so, and you are still at Brewcore, do you believe? And ready to end towards, I do Nestor. At least this was the plan, unless anything changed. You were also met. Uh, uh, the Baron also made mention of an old friend. You know, relatively, called Farkaya, uh, who may be able to help you uh, in regards to that uh, strange sphere that you found. Party people, what do you wish to do? I sir, make, make it rain. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All the gold coins. Also, I'll be right back. Yeah, just we'll uh, make it hail, I guess so it'll knock people out. Yeah, I mean, if it was dollar bills, we would be awesome. Coinage. We might poke somebody's eye out. That could be fun. Yeah. Yeah, put some dents in foreheads <laughs> or something like. Just put all that coin in the pillow case and as a weapon. It'll be fine. I mean, we could. I mean, if we're if we're done here, how how uh, how long of a trip is it from Brewcore uh, to the city? That depends. If you're walking, it'd be like maybe an hour or so. Oh wow! Okay. Uh, yeah, it, 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 and you know, Nessera and Nessera adjacent is it's like fucking Arizona, so it's hot as balls. Uh, but oh, it's like where I live. Yeah, it's where exactly where Kitty live, where you know the heat destroyed the internet. It does. It does. Um, Small town, not fun. Could also be where I live, where the heat made me feel like I was gonna die today. I mean, I was Couldn't out. Even... I out. actually did walk an hour out in the heat today to walk a dog, so I How? definitely feel our, our, I'm used to it. So, and a lot of water. <laughs> a lot of water. However, uh, you know, desired, as you know, 
friends of the Baron could provide you with a, you know, uh, all Land Rover type of deal, essentially a dune buggy that would probably, you know, get all of you. It's not as fancy as, you know, old Betsy, and you know, just float. Uh, but it will get you there. Great. We can take that a can work. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, please. Oh yeah, you know, I, I haven't used it in a long time. But, bring her back whenever you come back. When, whenever we come back? Oh yeah, you always come back and welcome here. You don't come, well, I mean, come I back, guess... right? More things. Oh, I mean, I guess I was just questioning because, like, I mean, that just mean that kind of comes across like we can just go, um, like on an adventure with it and just bring it back later. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's... thank you. <laughs> uh, I have a question. If we want to kind of update it and make it better, can we? That way, when we bring it back, it's better than it was? I mean, I'm not opposed to it. Okay, thank you. If somebody asks for insurance, run. Uh... <laughs> Other than that, we're good. Okay, if we get into some kind of, like, accident... We'll just flee the scene so nobody can try to find us later. I mean, I will actually attempt to get out of it by talking, and if that fails, I'm going to run for it. I mean, you don't want them to know what you look like. <laughs> she just looks over and smiles. Oh, trust me. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I mean... I, I, yeah, yeah, you're right. I saw how you took care of that, that guy, um, the other day. So, yeah, and you were gonna teach me how to do that. So, okay. Mm -hmm. And now the terrifying question: Who's driving? That is a terrifying question. <laughs> I'll drive. Have you ever uh, driven before? No. I haven't I driven in a long been... time. Now the beer brand is wondering if you're ever going to see that back. <laughs> <laughs> nope. When was the last time you've driven, Zach? What would you um, say it was? Probably about a year ago. I, I'm, I'm just wild it's... guess here. I'm assuming that none of you have a focus in riding, which in this case would be as, you know, driving. No, there's actually, actually specifically a driving oh, yeah, there's one. focus. Yeah. Uh, driving oh, yeah. Drives, and, well, I was actually debating on driving. taking that. Who the fuck put That's... driving under strength? Um, I, I have my have... dexterity base. Well, driving is strength. Advanced driving is dexterity. Yeah. Uh, that's true. Either way. I know how to get us out of this situation. Uh... I would call them both as dexterity base. Fuck it. It makes more sense. <laughs> well, um... Power steering exists. You don't need that much strength. Well, that's the thing. Driving is supposed to be like carts and wagons. Advanced yeah. driving is... Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it takes yeah. cars consideration, and... you know, fancy, you know, future <laughs> doom car. Yeah, because it's like, it's already power driving. Yeah. It's like, I don't have to have a huge amount of strength to, to do that. Riding a horse... Yeah, you need the strength. All right. So, driving. Um, well, I'm pretty dexterous. Uh, Feel free. Um, what's okay. your dexterity? Uh, three. Mine is. Wait, where is mine? Oh, mine is two. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, I so can drive driving. next, though. Okay. And <laughs> she just gets it. Ew walks towards the buggy with a little pep in her step. Oh god, it feels good to drive again. 
So as we're getting close to the buggy before we all start piling in, I actually look without any additional stuff. Would it actually be possible um, <laughs> for the for the little one to drive? Or I, I mean, how were the dimensions of the controls? I was also wondering that. I mean, what's wrong, Mom? The beer baron is able to drive. Or I do believe that okay. Affling are a bit shorter. Uh, so, you know, pushing all the seat all the way to the steering wheel. Uh, probably on her tippy toe. Sabine could probably, you know, drive. Now, you know, pushing the pedals and you being able to turn the wheel is one thing. Being able to see over the hood is another <laughs> another one. Listen. Uh, <laughs> but, you know... No phone book exists, and no, there's like shoes that you could uh, have like a bigger sole. Stilts? Would, yeah. No. Yeah. It is possible. You put some stilts on my. You put some stilts on my feet, <laughs> and put me on a stack of phone books so I could see over the wheel, and it's fine. And or I like, you know. Somebody lets me sit in their lap, and they control the pedals, and I control the wheel. Because I, I do believe that anything can be done. The question is usually, how can you do? God, I kind of want to do that now, just oh. for shits and giggles. <laughs> okay, Prince. Oh. Hold on, we have a guest. <laughs> I think there's thunder or something. Not that I'm I heard it. But... Guest. Is it Kelly that's driving, or is it is it you know a wild attempt at having Sabine drive just because it will be interesting and weird and funny? Uh, do we want the possible crash? I mean, or do we want to keep it together? I mean, I will, I will, you know, upfront say that you know it will be you know a driving test. You got you have to roll for it. Uh, you know what? Let's see who can drive the best. <sighs> Just a little round in a circle. Not even Just out of the driveway and the car is crash. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so who wants to go first? I'll try. Whatever. <laughs> um, let's see. I can do math in one second. I had a 15. All right. So, oh, with a 15, um, with suitable arrangement, you know, fastly the thing. Um, hey, you know, Sabine's actually a pretty decent driver. You know, is she going to be, you know, top in race? Probably not, unless it's like a demolition race. Um,. But, you know, she can make the things go forward and, you know, turn around and not anything. I mean, you know, it's going to be like, maybe like, you know, it was like 15, 20 minute drive. Yeah. See, told you I could do it. Zach, you want to go next? Uh, go ahead. Okay. Oh, if you roll like shit, I will last man. I am... The dice are probably gonna do that. Just wait. Actually... That's really good. And I get a stunt point, too. I'm gonna try our stunt be... point with a blind disc, but... We're gonna find a way. Uh, Hello. 18. Yeah. Yeah, I 18. mean... All coming back to you. And you know, as you know, finish driving, you pull and brake and just, you know, drift. And do that whole drift. And yeah. it's like, looks like I still got it. Just in mind that, you know, gasoline, power cell are, you know, limited resource. Mm hmm. So it's like, hmm. So, uh, Zach, you want to take a spin just to see? Let's just go. Uh, so where are we going to put 
Wait, where is she? Is she still in the place? Are you looking for Averlyn? Yeah, Averlyn. She's she's just hanging, you know, probably like distracting them. You know, yeah, telling stories. She's licking her she's acid nearby. wounds. Yeah. Yeah. Are you like pretty decently? Uh, I think she needs more sleep. What do you guys think? Because we all saw how much acid she took. Yeah, it might be best to just let her rest. Um, we can just get something next to her. Yeah. I mean, she could probably take a nap in the back. Uh, she might get sunburned if we leave her there. No, no, no. When, when, when we get into town, first thing we should do is secure lodging. Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry, I just keep thinking true. that we're going to come back. Well, eventually. No, I, yeah, I know eventually. I just mean, like, I for some reason, I thought we were coming back tonight. So, yeah, we can get uh, an inn to stay at and just leave her there. Yeah, I think that would be the best option for us all. So, shall we get in and drive oh. off? Good, good idea, Zach. Are they up in buggy there? <laughs> Sabine still sits, like tries to sit in the drivers. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> I can see Cal just sitting, sitting on her lap. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Callie is probably used to it because it's like sometimes those places that we stopped at didn't have booster seats, and she was like. It'd be weird with anybody else. Fine. Okay, I'm fine with it. <laughs> Callie, protect. Oh. Alright. Driving. Slowly. Well, you know, not <laughs> too quickly. No, you know, it's not your well paved road. Callie's gonna hit the Nas. <laughs> just wait, just wait. Car. That perfect <laughs> straight area that looks pretty damn good, you know damn well she's going to hit yeah. it. No, there's a few areas and it's pretty you know, it's pretty damn good that you can probably go faster. Some, you know I mean you can try. Vin Diesel's gonna show up start talking That's about right. family, so <laughs> Right, gotta get that seven second quarter mile. That's right. <laughs> oh, nope, she had her three cups of coffee. She's fine. That's right. <laughs> that pause moment, it's like, did she have her coffee? Yes. This is yes, that same did. day. I think she had four cups of coffee. Given. I so, see. yeah. You're good. You know, you got your, you got all your coffee. At some point, you got it, you know. Think a bit of time. Tracting. Got it. Mm -hmm. As you approach uh, the city state of uh, next door, a uh, glowing map close to the city's edge show how massive city is divided. A borough between you've been here before. So, you know, you're. Loosely familiar, at least we know some part of the city. Place that. Uh. Eight. Um. We're told, uh, the Sage Shop is somewhere in the multi building but dark called Market Bank. Borough of Allfield. Uh, which is overseen by the Vinters Guild. Also note that. City. It's you. Divided, there's a few guild here and there that are overseeing part of one quote uh, being, uh, at once house many many more people as it does now and there are some uh, abandoned area where Grand Plaza, where you know, but that haven't been kept way to fear uh, or spot where Bradley pavement have been 
chewed up by the weed, maybe traffic, but bad app worn through the ground. Uh, not like came through like some empty window of derelict buildings. Now, the brochure probably no show necessarily no being a pretty pretty city. In reality, you know, it's, it's a place. There's a lot. It's big and multicultural. But you know, well, you know, more or less, you know, post apocalypse in like best of uh, volcano, right? Mm -hmm. Buildings have long since been abandoned, looted for their valuable gifts. Have you know, you like have to use buildings to actually create new homes. You can see way some small garden there along the way. As an crack screen and monitors, as you get in bit a bit more into it, it becomes more. Urban area, like giant like monitor with crack screens. Uh, many of them are blank or just plain dead and hang from tall kiosk and posts throughout the city, like cluster of strange like coconuts around like poles and like that. It's a bit odd for you know those that are not necessarily you. Or urban area. Those have made room. Other village. I do believe, Dean, that was a case for you. I'm not. Yes, and she is wide yeah. eyed, and it's probably great that she's not driving right now. There's because a... there would have definitely been a crash. She's There's so a lot. distracted. No. There's a lot. Of, you know, you know, when I say no, not as many people. As they used to be in the city. There's still a fuck ton of. It's loud. Busy. Now, a bit chaotic aspect. Now, even though, like, you will see some street that have absolutely nobody, turn the corner and it's still with people, vendors on the side of the street. Trying to hustle and things like that. So it is still a very, very lively area. And pass through. It's it's odd. Like as much of his it it is as it is, it's also also that little uh, bazaar type of feel. It is like the little things that overhang like selling food, drugs, and all sorts. Uh, yeah, bar, beer, and Astora. Some streets are easier to drive. Buggy. Some are just a bit more occupied. That they want just want to do. Everywhere you go, you do see some some those bulky. Monitor. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I'll send a message here. Uh, rotating here. Uh, thing. The guild. Watch for. Uh, watch out for you. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. Nope. <laughs> yeah. So, oh. like the buildings are like made from dang stone, metal, and all sorts of things, but. Whichever sector of the city you want to go in, a venture for bad sh while back. All that was my question. The place you said that this particular shop was is it on the the west side of the city or the east side of the city? So, uh, are you looking for uh, Farkas place? Yeah, I, I in particular, I'm just curious where in the okay. city that is. Uh, let me just double. Check here. It is. I'll feel. I'll feel. So it's on the left. It, it is. Yeah, it is side. on the western side of the city. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's not too far from. Yeah, it's in the. It's like in the market bank. So it's like. 
Wednesday. Market Bank. Ah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's on the western end. But you're you all coming yeah, like, yeah. through the uh, eastern side of it. They would need to go to Riverside uh, Orta Road area, which a, a, a long bridge with docks and ships and all sorts. Yeah, we'd have to go across the river to get over there. I mean, it's, it's an area that you're somewhat familiar with because all that you went through is uh, Raid Ward, which is right adjacent to it, right? Probably know mm -hmm. what that is. Yeah, no, it's, it's not all that far from there so okay so we have to go over the river i take it yeah we have to go across the river to get over there um and there should be should be some places to find lodging over there uh there's the festive hotel mm -hmm. um there's, there's at least that <laughs> i'm really curious as what dragons and donuts is though <laughs> we can it's love to check it out. <laughs> it's gotta be like a bakery or something. If if it's not, I will be very disappointed. I right. Mean, with a name like that, you odd that it's not. But we never know. Just you know, good branding. It would be actually really funny if it was. Mm -hmm. The donuts are a lie. I mean, oh, it, it's all sort of donut-shaped things, <laughs> but none are edible. So yeah, so there's a hotel not too far from the market bank, so we can just we can just hold up over there, and I know that area; it's near the school. So. Okay. So yeah, I drive us that way. Right? Traffic. What's the bomb shelter? <laughs> it, is, it is exactly what it says on the box. Is it real? Okay. Interesting. Okay. Uh, during, you know, the chaos. Uh, give me free check. Uh, or okay. relore. <laughs> no. Hold on. I have to do math. Which is not my strong suit, as everybody knows. The dreaded math. I mean, if it is an open question, some of your party member may be able to answer it. It really was just more me asking out a character, if I'm being quite honest. I mean, you probably see um, a few signs here and there that, you know, point towards you know, various things. And... Yeah. And, I mean, there's, a, you know, a few, a, because it is a big city, there's, you know, a few, you are here. And maps, Snabble. Yes, they do know that you know people will get lost. It is also a big mm -hmm. sign of oh, look at that, this person is a tourist. Rob them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe well, if they haven't turned an old bomb shelter into like a nightclub, they are missing an opportunity. I agree. We got enough money. <laughs> we should do it. <laughs> So, uh, uh, Screen, did you roll for historical lore as well? Oh, uh. Or, 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 I, I heard some dice rolling, I wasn't sure. Oh, I was just I... kind of tapping them, but okay. I'll roll. Yeah. I rolled an 11, so I don't know anything. Uh... I am a country. Yeah. Gal. I mean, you do know that. I was going to say 18? that, but I didn't want to say it. 18? Oh. With two stump points, but. Look right. at Zach flexing his intelligence. That's Never. right, you know, big brain Zach. <laughs> it's he like also remembering many years here. Yeah. <laughs> flexing the fle flexing the one brain cell that we have in this group. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Akreen, you would know that like many many years ago, and chaos war. That shelter were created. Avoid, well, you know, having a lot of people dying from all horrible things happening. In case you know, figure would coming your way. Obviously, you know, some buildings were still damaged. 
Yeah, it was in an actual bomb shelter. Now, what what is that has been done with it? I mean, th that depends on how much you do. You had, you know, the nightlife type of person or more book person. But hey, some people will just go there and hang out. I mean, things. drunks have loose lips, that's for sure. Yep. I think while we're, like, uh, traveling to the hotel, like, Sabine is, like, really kind of standing on the passenger chair, like, looking, trying to see everything all at once. Very dangerous, but... <laughs> like, she's holding on. But she's like, oh my god, I've never seen... Like, they've been traveling together for a while, but they've never been to, like, a big city like this. Mm -hmm. And so she's just so fucking distracted. <laughs> yeah, because I think I want to go there. The oh largest my God, I place there. he may have went was Ballrest Village, which is just slightly yeah. bigger than your mm -hmm. home. Yeah. So, I would say she's asking like a dozen questions. <laughs> I would definitely say that since we're like in traffic right now, uh, Callie's doing the whole mom thing where she's just driving and all of a sudden her hand just like appears and perfectly catches her and you're just like what the mom bar yeah yeah my mom still does that to me oh same <laughs> it's instinct it never goes away we're like i can imagine callie like grabbing sabine by like the back of her cloak or something and just like holding on to her and still <laughs> driving <she's> just, yeah <laughs> I do believe you were heading towards the festival hotel. Yes. So yep. you're going into Hallfield uh, District, you know, the big, you know, Greenwood, you know, guild watching out for you. Still there, ever present. But you do eventually come across all the uh, festive hotel. It is this. Tall ish, skinny building. Um, that is a bit of a rusty red in the middle and a bit of crooked here and there. No, it's not the, the super pristine and well maintained, but hey, it, it, it's decent shape, relatively. On just above the door, there is the neon sign that the name of the hotel, which is flashing and flickering here and there. Some letter here are not always functional, but it is what it is. As as most things, still standing at best of older days. Uh, is Zach gonna show us like all his like old favorite places to go? Maybe, <laughs> if you're lucky. So <laughs> I'm just gonna take that as a yes. <laughs> Let's get this taken care of, and then we can head over to the market and deal with that. Yeah, okay. Such... Coming through the door and getting getting little bell rings and walking very very dimly lit. And eventually you hear it. And from beyond the counter, all halfling ops on. Like jet white and like complete white air, a bit frizzled. Big eyes. What can I do for you? We need rooms. Alright. How many rooms? I got four. I see that you're four. Do you need four rooms? And yes. For how many nights? How long are we planning on being here? I, I don't mean, imagine long. Maybe a few days. Because who knows, we might find ourselves in some kind of shenanigans and such like that. I mean, if you're Life planning on town. staying up for a few, uh, a few days, I do have the my loyalty card. So, get, stay here next night, get the same free. 
I mean, why not? It is a big city, and we could do a little bit of sightseeing after some of the craziness we went through with our adventures. All right. So do you want to go with the seven days and just take this as a vacation from adventuring? Yeah, unless something happens, and then we could just write it off on our taxes. <laughs> <laughs> If only. <laughs> just kind Which of makes Aslan because... giggles because, you know, they pay taxes. God, I actually do have to do my taxes. Shit. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I did not I did not mean to remind you of that. I'm so no, sorry. I have, my, everything I I have my taxes. I'm talking as Callie. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, oh, you should get on that right away. Uh, I can take care of it oh. later. I'll take care Sabina. of it this week. Oh, it is okay. Two silver a night per room. So that's one hundred twenty-eight fifty. Okay. How much is it? Two uh, silver. a total of fifty-six gold. Are you actually paying in gold? It's fifty-six gold per person. Sorry. Per total. No, gold. sorry, fifty. So it's, it is six silver a night. Oh, I was like, yeah. that's a lot of gold. That doesn't per, six right. silver, wow. 14 silver per room. So times four is 56 silver. So that would Which be puts... then five gold and six silver with four silver oh. remaining. Total, yes. I mean, if yeah, we from split it. The entire thing. Yeah. But yeah. it's uh, 12. So. 14. Yeah, 14 gold. So, so 14 tell me how silver, much. Gold. So, one, okay, one gold. So. <laughs> and you have six silver after. No, wait, two gold. And you have six silver after. There it is. Okay, two gold. Okay, and then I have. So, that's three silver for me. Okay, right? I don't know. I, I'll write it. Oh, yeah, I don't understand. I don't understand fantasy cur currency. I barely understand real life currency. Please help. <laughs> no, no, it would be if you have four silver and a gold. That's all you need. Yeah. Okay. If you don't have four silver One. or more than that, you could take okay. two gold away and give yourself six silver. Yeah. For change. Sorry, oh. I was looking at my stuff. <laughs> Okay, no problem. So I'm going to subtract one gold from my thingy and then four, uh, four silver. I mean, and subtract four silver. Any tips, you four, know, okay. If you, don't, if you want to All round right. up and oh, you know, give the poor little fellow a tip, you know, to save his mat, it's going to be more than welcome. Yeah, I'm just going to give him, leave the change, give him change. Y'all, can I, can I get some hype in the chat for that struggle? <laughs> 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 that is hard. Oh yeah, that was the hardest thing. I it's never okay. want to go through that again. <laughs> Every yeah, time we get to a city, one gold <laughs> is uh, ten silver, so That's it goes correct. by ten. Yep. Okay. Just like the metric system. Okay. Who cool. cares about the metric system? <clears throat> Scientists. Eh. Anyways. But it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't go into freedom current. Oh, hmm. uh, all right. <laughs> so, uh, how much are you actually giving a uh, little friend here? Uh, two gold. Two gold? For me. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to give two gold. <laughs> I Sabine just, Sabine just copies whatever Callie does in this moment. That's fine. We'll, just, we'll, we'll overpay him a little bit. Everyone will, everyone will do the same because it is simpler because mm -hmm. and... it's like we've been traveling for a while and it's been warm don't know if the AC worked so we're probably tired and we're like we want to get pressured up a little bit oh yeah it, it, it works most of the time phew <laughs> pop, pop, pop. <laughs> No, in case, you know, just, you know, ring the bell and we'll send maintenance up. 
Oh, God. AC going out is not fun. Okay, let's get everybody up to our rooms. Evelyn, you definitely still need sleep. Yeah. She will you look like shit. go down, you know, <laughs> head up in her room, uh, power nap. If, and she wakes up, you know, play with her guns and mental them and assemble them again and things. But, Take you know, a nap. Yeah, if you know, do see anything that, you know, she may find fun and interesting in town while she's not uh, venturing out. Uh, Feel free to bring it back. Okay. We'll arrange. Well, redistribution at this. But I do believe that she would need probably some armor or something. That'd be good. Yeah, hers kind of got a little bit um, melted. Oh, uh, yeah, I think mine did too. In the last fight. Yeah, I have um, a little hole in my shoulder from. I mean, it is. Yeah, you know, I... for the most part, very functional, but making fashion stuff. Uh, I'll be back again. Um, thunderstorm, not good for puppies. All right. He's not happy here, but I'll I'll show everyone. So maybe can should I can I move I can move my camera. It's yeah, fine. you can. Hey, there he is, guy everyone. Puppy was not very happy. He would... He's he's not way happy, cuter though. than the other prince. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> my lips are sealed. You no know, words. somebody clip somebody clip that so it could be uh, proof later. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I assumed he was in the chat. <laughs> no, he's streaming right now. Oh. No, fr a friendship Lonzo's allow for chat. roast. No, that's, you know, one of the first <laughs> friendship. That's true. <laughs> uh, I'll, be, I'll be right back. No problem. I'm a Korean cast right now. Got in your room. It is no. Not, not as cozy as we're in the pure parents mention because you know this entire building is much smaller than this uh, so it is you know tighter quarters but you know efficient you have you know a bed a ball this thing next to it i'm gonna let zach go first i'll be right back bathroom down the hall um and not everything is i think included but for travelers, does a trick. Yeah, not as uh, not as nice as the dorm rooms, but you know, serviceable for a temporary. No. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't have any luggage, so uh, there's really nothing to do. Come back here later for sleeping time. So that's most what most people know. It was like type of look. Hotel, they just you know come here when they come to town. You no, know, they don't bring too many things because let's face it, traveling on Volcano with too much stuff will get attention, and you will also travel slower. Don't necessarily do that, and you all know for sure that you're currently have you know pockets that are very, very full of nice things that some people you know they want. For them, it is. Here's salary, not more. That is something to consider as well. But is it in your there left in you no know, your things and your ball of various ball of mystery? Yes, the ball of mystery. Uh, I need Glorious answers ball as soon as possible. Definitely need to get answers about that as quickly as possible. Cause it's it's only, you know, mildly terrifying. Yeah, I mean you know, a ball of mystery, Elish creature from hundred years ago coming back. You know it was you know uh, Balkana is, you know, uh, full of 
odd and terrifying things. The world itself can be an odd and terrifying place. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. So, uh, as I was mentioning, you fiddling in your all functional and also have, you know, a wide and a lot of money, which is a dangerous thing to have on you. Sound like this. Oh, yeah. You wish to reconvene outside of your next um Catley is definitely going to stash um half of her gold. Okay. Uh, somewhere in the room where people won't think to look if somebody were to come in and search her stuff. Okay. Um... Oh no. That would... I mean, that would be a, a, most likely either an intelligent... I would, I would give like either perception searching, but as a reverse thing. Okay. So that you, you know, like it's a hard to find spot that you're looking for, right? Yeah. Okay. And woo. That's, that's not no, bad. As strange as it is, you know, putting you know money in a hole is not a skill. <laughs> Maybe 11, 15, 16. I do find it like, you know, behind the bed, you do find a little spot that you as a bit of a loose panel. You feel confident that you probably know had a few things in there. Okay. Um, uh, she does that. And... All right. So, mark off how much you're hiding in there. Okay. I think Sabine would do the same thing, but more so for her more personal items than her gold. Also, a uh, S3 trap. I don't have anything to trap. No, I don't have the everything that I would need to properly trap it. Okay. Unfortunately. All right, Maybe later. I'll been you said that you wanted to attend the merging. Yeah, um, mostly for her, um, for her personal stuff. But wow, I wrote poorly. Um, but also, like, she would want to try to put some of her gold away because, like, even though she's from the country, even she knows like walking around with two hundred plus gold isn't great. Mm -mm. <laughs> but I rolled bad, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> but what is the check? What is this? Uh, it would be, uh, perception. It would be, per I would, uh, perception. Per find a per uh, hiding spot at, say, perception search. Oh. Guess what? I have a focus in searching now. There you go. <laughs> nice. Level also, up. You'll, everybody level you'll up. all be Not happy to know I, I had now have one in my perception. <laughs> um, still doesn't help me with my bad rolls, though. Um, nine. No, having the points will only give you, help you so much. Oh yeah, I got especially 11. when you remember about it and you're like, uh. Yeah. So are you you look out, you look around, you don't find any. I mean, you do find a few spot here. And, wait, this like covered thing that you put things in. I will save it is, mm -hmm. but you don't find any hidden compartment or like or board and like that. But that's 11. Okay. Oh, maybe I should have had Callie help me. Whatever. Just put things in your socks. <laughs> I mean... I mean, dirty clothes. Who's gonna yeah. go look through dirty clothes? I mean, I wouldn't. <laughs> So yeah, she'll just she'll do the best that she can with what she has, um, and then go meet everybody out um, in the hallway or the lobby or wherever. 
All right. So, all the way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Way down. Entrance. That little eye thing is just there waving at you. Let me know if you need anything, eh? Will do. Just basically, you know. Thank you! Got a decent tip, you know, he's always happy to help. You better and be. <laughs> you are free from the city. Well, uh, the, the best first stop would probably be the market bank. Um, we could pick up any supplies that we may need, as well as talk to the friend of the beer baron, who may know about this mystery device. Um, yeah, lead the way. Yes, I have a list of things I want to pick up that I've lost when we can you all. Um, we should all get flashlights. I have a flashlight. <laughs> now. I don't know what you're yeah. talking about. I don't need them. Uh, I see I fine in the dark. I uh, I bought one after set. I got one after session zero when I realized we could have flashlights. Don't oh, at me. Well then, because you <laughs> found one in the school. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So who has that one? I do believe it's Avlin as uh, it? Ava. Ava okay. does. Yeah. Okay. So I'm uh, then I'm the only one who's SOL when it comes to darkness. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll fix that. Cybernetic eyes, oh. please. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, that would be dope. I actually thought about doing that. <laughs> I mean, you could always borrow mine. No, I'll buy a flashlight. It's not a big deal. Okay. It's not that expensive. Maybe we can get like a big, like a floodlight. A big one. Do you want everybody to know we're in a place? I mean, they're going to oh. know if we have a flashlight. I mean, depending on where we are. Uh, now, dim light, a giant flashlight. For the buggy, might not be a terrible idea. <clears throat> but I don't Ooh. think we need to carry around a floodlight. <laughs> I always have great ideas. Okay. And I leave them <laughs> down the road. <laughs> <laughs> I like the reaction was just okay. <laughs> no follow up. Yeah. <laughs> Not going to argue with this one about it. We're just going to go. <laughs> uh, Callie's going to be like looking and just scanning people, see if there's anybody of interest who's taken an interest in us. Yeah. Go for it. Also, I'm just strutting down these that would roads. Be, like... You're just like looking around, right? So that's. Yeah. Perception skiing. Ooh. And I get a plus two because I am fo that's one of my focuses. Yay. So that would be fifteen. Uh, fifteen. Wait. That's fifteen. Do take a look around. Uh, obviously as tourists, you do know get a few looks here and there. But for the most part people seem to be minding their own business. moment i mean we shouldn't look too out of place it's no. i mean it's a, it's a big city it's it is, not like it, it you know a big mm -hmm. city as, well, as long as you know don't behave in such ways that you know drag a lot of tension right it's not like we're all wearing giant american flags while in canada or something like we're not oh, yeah <laughs> lord you know, we got in screaming about eagles of freedom um, I I think Sabine definitely comes across as a little touristy because she's just oh my god oh my god oh what what's that over there what's that Zach what's that like a little kid oddly enough Callie just looks like she's home in this place threatened down the road. Yeah, uh, just uh, lead them um, over to the. You know, you know, just lead them down the because we're not that far. Um, just on the other side of this area. Um, I just lead them down to the the market bank, which 
when I tell it's just a, a gigantic bazaar, right? Yeah, for the most part, it is a giant, gigantic bazaar. Did actual like buildings here and there, but for the most part, that's what. That's where you're going, right? Towards the bank? Yeah, yeah. And the route would probably take us past uh, Thornhill's Emporium and and the bomb shelter. Hmm. We'd, we'd pass right by the bomb, the bomb shelter on our way. Yeah. You actually, any of the route you're taking? Depending on how much of it detour you want to do, you can actually go, go right in front of Dragon's a Donut. No, never mind, that's a Apparently. Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 we'd have to go past. Yeah, that's way past. Um, that's a deep but not, well, I wouldn't say way past, but it's, it's, it's past. Yeah. I guess it depends on what the scale is here. All right, so heading towards bank market while traveling through the bank market gear like actually we all hear a dull abrupt boom uh, fairly low and windows are rattling followed by shouts shocks and cries for help coming from the street near there and um, you also see a bit of a black smoke rising from the sky oh, shots we, and screams I, i'm already pulling out my gun and checking it it was just like it was just shouts shots it was oh. like a boom like an explosion um, give me perception hearing to get a bit more. Uh... uh, I got a ten. <laughs> God, I roll so bad. I roll so bad. If the sound was not distinctive enough, uh, the. Well, the black smoke may be an indicator of, you know, something that may have blew up or fire nearby. Mm, that's not good. You, all, uh, you also hear distance, the uh, blaring sound of, like, emergency vehicle approaching. What sounds like a single gunshot? So we should at least look. And I'm not putting the gun away because just in case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Better be on the side of safety, right? Mm -hmm. I don't want to have to shoot a motherfucker, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yes. As you go towards the intersection where the incident happened. You see a gilder tra uh, caravan transport trucks ablaze. Two trucks are on fire, pumping black smoke in the air against the nearby building. Uh, out of the smoke is a third truck. Um, it's windscreen fracture, blackened cab filled with dark smoke. Doesn't down the streets, pulling into the park and vehicle along the road. So there's a lot of injured people, there's things on fire, uh, and you do know for sure that, uh, actually, Zekarini, you're a bit of a nerd, right? A bit? A bit of a nerd, right? <laughs> um, what would that be intelligence nearing? You have that? Yes, I do. Did you give me intelligence <laughs> Sure. Uh, that's not too bad. Let's see. 
19. Not too bad, 19. That's pretty damn good. <laughs> uh, with that 19, you also know that usually vehicles like that have power cells. Which, you know, when post planes for a long period of time may cause. Let's call it sudden just discharge of energy. Okay, <laughs> big explosion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also known as explosion. Big boom. A backfire. Yeah. Now, how long is that period of time usually? Uh, that really depends on density and damage sustained. Now, in this case, it's probably you know. It's not going to be hours. I'd be with minutes. Okay. Um, so. Okay. <clears throat> That's all three of ending there. Bystander. Help. Sabine rushes into help. Yeah, no, no, he's putting his gun away as he's moving forward. Yeah. We need to get the power Being cells the out of the vehicles before they explode. Okay, okay. Um, just show me what, just tell me what to do. I'll do it. Okay. And can I tell, because I know that there, there was the, the third one that came in. That's probably most likely the most recently damaged one. On the other two, can I tell which one has been on fire the longest? Uh, it's hard to tell because, you know, it's been, you know, within a few, like maybe like ten seconds ago, right? Uh, okay, so it's it's all pretty much at the yeah, same it's time. pretty much the same, you know, it was a boom that, you know, probably got those two at the same time. Okay, um, so whichever one of the two looks the worst, like the most damage is the one I'm going to go to. If, if we go uh, like A, B, C, he's the one that just, you know, essentially has like a crack windshield has not been on fire. A and B, I'd, um, I'd say B, on a little bit fire. Okay. So, more on fire is relative, you know, when you know, things are both on fire here. <laughs> um, right. Kelly's going to look and see if she notices if there's anybody who's on the ground looking unconscious or anything like that. Yeah, uh, okay. That shit. Perception seeing. Okay. Ooh. That is let's see. 16, 17, 18, 19, and I stunted with six stunt points. Alright, and what do you want to Ooh. use those points for? Uh let me pull up the stunt table real fast. Thought I had it up, but I did not. I love that, you know, doing good rolls in that game actually like give you a little bonus here and there. Oh yeah, that's so nice. Let's see. They actually make it worth it, like, oh look at that, I rolled a big number. Okay, <laughs> big roll. Roll. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna use two stunt points for efficient search. Okay. To see if I can see anybody as I'm going through. Another two for speedy search, because mm. things might explode. That, that is a wise choice. And I'm going to use... Let's see... Okay, actually, let's see. Efficient search... Uh, speedy search to see if I can find somebody. If I do... Uh, efficient search, if I need to find something to like help prop something up or... Uh, tool and then use the right tools. Oh no, right tools actually allow me to find. Okay, so I'm gonna use efficient search, speedy search, <laughs> and the right tools. All the stun points. All the stun points. No. First and foremost, yes, you do find your people. Uh, surprisingly, with that explosion, there's still somebody within one of the trucks that is still alive and badly injured. But looking nearby, you do find no various things that, that you could probably pull that person out. Uh, like, even find, like, a piece of 
bar that he could probably like pry the door open, he didn't and pulled them out. Uh, as for, yeah, like, Kelly is definitely going to be as doing that. For you know, safe medical tools. Uh, it's not something that is that easily to find. Medical staff that is currently on the way will most likely have some. Mm-hmm. But nearby, the average person does not have, you know, pressure and that, right? Yeah. So she would probably look for something that, like, tear off a piece of her shirt that she can get later and use it as a tourniquet if there's those kind of wounds. Things that, like, what she could use to quickly get them stable enough to have some until help arrives. Quickly enough, you know, rush in, pop that door open with a rebar, drag them out. If you're trying to make sure that they don't die, it's a healing test. I do believe uh, it's see. threshold. Is- well, intelligence. Oh, good. My intelligence is okay. Mm, that's not bad. That would be uh, math, math, math. That's three. Thirteen. Okay, good enough. I mean, it, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna it, do the job to patch him up. And a stunt point, but I don't know what I would use for that stunt point for that. Make them feel better. Uh, Oh, advantageous positioning. Just get it just per- just right. Where it's like, it works, but don't touch it. That's right. <laughs> don't wiggle too much. The queen Hand on sh- head, don't freaking move. Please, the queen and Sabine are looking to remove potential power cells so that, you know, it don't go more boom, right? Right, yeah. gonna run up Sabine's- to the first one. Oh, go ahead. No, I was going to say, Sabine's going with Zach in case he needs, like, t- small hands to reach in and do stuff. Um, but it, it should be something that uh, one person can do, so I, I could show you. But, uh, yeah, so run up to the first one, pop the trunk, and start unconnecting the battery to... Or not the trunk, the hood. And start unconnecting <laughs> the battery as quickly as possible, safely. All right. Before um, dragging it out and pulling it away from the trucks. I think Sabine will will watch to see which which like cables he's pulling, and then uh, go to the like, the, the next one to okay. work on that too. Perfect. Maybe. Um, I mean, together, can you get both give me like intelligence engineering? I don't have any I mean, engineering, so knowing that there's you no know, things that will go boom is one thing. Looking and knowing where it is is a different thing. Right. So. Yes. Right, right. Um, wow. Okay, so this is a really good roll. So oh, mine's really bad. So <laughs> good oh, luck. okay. Uh, I'm not even saying what it is. That's how bad it points. is. Give me those stun points. Just kidding. It won't help me. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I mean, all of you would you? take just a bit of eat damage. So just like mark off two point from like just a sheer temperature of the you know, flame Being and just so uh, even Kelly as well yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ke- Kelly as well because you know just okay dunk uh, somebody out of a truck that was on fire um wow I'm tangled. really hurt <laughs> oh yes you're really hurt I'm so hurt or Sabine you're gonna need, need like, healing four, right you're gonna now. need a four days rest <laughs> after this oh. I am um so I don't even know. Okay, okay, all right, cause, cause I can. All right, because he can. We're gonna uh, use do it. with a flourish. Oh, <laughs> to to pull these batteries out and and like yank them out and toss them behind me. <laughs> taking the like, it's like you have the tool at the ready with you all the time. You no, know, just taking the right tool. Dismantling that, no problem. Almost not even looking. Taking that battery out, tossing it overhead so it doesn't blow up. Because you know they can take a beating, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. you know they're 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 meant to take a. They're capable of taking a beating, thankfully. Sabine's oh. hand gets stuck. Just <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you, uh, check Discord real fast. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah, let's just say. I have a quick question. 
Oh, you Yay. said it to him yep. privately. <laughs> I was trying to yep. be nosy. Uh, <laughs> okay. Give me that. Uh, so that would be a. Let's see, that would be a 14. 14. That's a 16 for her. So she's good. She's bad. What? For that 16, you said? Yeah, 16. Okay, you're good. Okay. Manage to pull things out, you know. Rescue counts along the way. Uh, guilt troopers arrive. Appreciate any, you know, appreciative, you know, first responder that we're here. Water is being poured over the vehicle. As are there nearby, you know. Know the what begins to be the aftermath of the incident. Uh, the uh, one denizen, human, uh, average height, um, average, oh, average person, mid uh, mid twenties, fashionable clothes, uh, trying to you know. Help as much as possible. At, uh, walk up to one of the real troops. Tell, uh, tell the guild master what happened. They oppose the autonomous front. Help them. They cannot intimidate us. And as soon as they finish this sentence, just a single shot from the trooper. And he looks, at, he looks at everybody. Everybody disperse. Now. And that's where we're gonna take a break. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, we just walked into some bullshit. Oh, yes. There's a <laughs> yeah. No, Zachary hasn't been in town I, for a, a, a while. Things were, like, bad. No messed up when he was there, he's got I I just want everybody in chat to know well, before we started, Rafiki's like oh, it's just gonna be a chill episode, yeah. <laughs> it's, a chill episode. it's true it's I true, mean, but then again right now we got resistance members being murdered in the street with yeah. explosions yeah, you're, it's so chill you're technically not fighting anything <laughs> well, we were yet, fighting the fire all right, so we're gonna. You know, we still have like a whole hour and a half to go. <laughs> They're gonna take a you know, quick five ten minute break here, and bio break. Get more water because water, mm -hmm. especially in matters. heat and humidity. You know when you live in a place where it's very very hot. So mm -hmm. we shall be right back in a moment. Catch you soon.
And we are back. So, Yay! You know, on the, on the shell session, just a mild, you know, mild chaos. Putting the scene of what Nistar is properly. <laughs> My player is fine and as the beautiful city state that it is hold on her mob like guild but don't issue right? but yeah as the uh, uh, I saw somebody just being shot in the street and Rushed away by the current troopers of dispersed artists put out. Things are the perimeter seemingly under control. Why, why did they? Why did they do that? Why? Do the troopers look hostile? Uh, the troopers are very vigilant, and although it's you don't see any facial expression, wearing helmets that cover their face and uniforms, all of them are armed. Some of the, are they're just there currently cur uh, keeping the perimeters as emergency on the fire. So they could be potentially hostile, depending. How somebody approach him based on the uh, very recent incident? I would say yes. Somebody just spoke out of their term. Definitely brought down. Um. So where? What direction would we have to go to continue on to the market? Are we, would we have to go through this area? No, we can just like you know, like take like one street off and turn around the corner, go toward. Okay. You're not I just kind of start backing up and uh, to, to them, I go, we should, we should go. Yes. Following this, you hear Herbert talk about what just happened. Boys, well, a whisper. Uh, not, you know, not to attract too much attention. Don't worry. Anything. Seen that what happened? Yeah. But, quickly, as you like just turn a corner it's a bit of a strange scene you no know, you just left the scene of this incident it was a mild transition talking about it and then you turn around the corner and it's just there, people that are there seems to be going on their daily business you no know, they're still you know people, like trying to sell their wares oh how much for those dinners you like the old our dwarven lady oh, I, I, Else, like, you have this one in the red. Yeah, about a rug. Alright, well, you know. No, I, Alright, I got, I, got, I got to get more tomorrow. No, it's. Everybody seems. Going about their business. Get the market this. Out of sight, out of mind. Okay. Out of mind, that would be all, yeah. As we make Ooh, our way there, it doesn't seem I will appear to be the first time that something happened. Right. Uh, as we continue to make our way to the market bank, I will explain uh, to uh, Sabine what essentially just happened. Uh, the, the the current dynamic between the two groups, although it has escalated since the last time Zach was in town. They weren't openly murdering each other <laughs> in the streets. 
Um, so just to make sure, because I kind of came in at like the tag end of you guys talking about it. So there's like the guild, which is basically Big Brother. Um, and then there are like this like rebel group that's trying to like overthrow the government, mm-hmm. basically. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I can't believe we're going to explain to the party here and watching. So just to give a quick summary of Bullshit. So, with the exception of the Commerce Nexus, there is a few IGL that oversee the various borough of Nestoro, and is responsible for all aspects of the governance of the leader of each guild, former body called Burnt Castle, which votes on matter of the city as a whole. It's a giant, no big ass mob council. Council. Words are hard. <laughs> uh, and release news, public, those public information on those monitors that you've seen, like across the city. Big ass monitors that go, mm-hmm. they get, get able to watch out for you, type of deal. And it's a big ass, it's a big network. And to enforce your policies, super force like that called the Nestorian Guard. There's, you know, where you were, actually where the Korean uh, spent a lot of his time past year, Race of War, usually under the Artist Guild, uh, which old, old royal buildings, the Nestorian College, and through the Alfield, the booming trades, banking, entertainment industries, Ending a bit more beyond their end date. There's also the Mercenary Guild, rough and tumble back alley of the Riverside. Much to this dismay of the Dark End Union, you know, they Dark Ends wish to do their own things, but no, don't argue too much with the Guild case. There is a uh, the resort neighbor shipping borough, uh, Portora, uh, which is also the science, scientific and magic research go on the, the nest under the watch of the Cornucopia group. Bureau of Utilities attempt to manage the packet of claustrophobic slums, so bat pack. No living space. Uh, so there's various wide variety of guild of the city. Manage for things and together their leader um make decision that are in quote for the better bed of the city. Obviously in recent years such authority has been questioned and hence came the autonomous Up that guild part because, but it seems that those type of issues more and more occurring recently, or just this got you. So now oh, that yeah, you've just described the, the U.S. government, um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, wow. Well. So, Zach, when was the last time you were here in the city again? Uh, about a year ago. Okay. These were not All that I can... bad a year ago. Yeah. All I can really say is this entire city has basically gone to the slums since the I was here ten years ago. Yeah. And she kind of looks around with a, a very saddened look to see how the city has changed since last time she was here. I mean, if they're trying to control people, um, I mean, nobody wants to be controlled, right? Yes. You are correct. However, the city 
is a lot safer than a lot of other places in oh, general. Yes. And sometimes people are willing to give up some control for safety. But exactly who is it safe for? That's always because it doesn't thing. seem like it's safe for everyone. Uh, let's put it this way. Um, I was here for about five years. I was never attacked. I never got into a fight. I've been traveling with y'all for a couple months. How many fights have we been into? <laughs> At least? I mean, but that we know of. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess that's a a good point, but I just, it, it, I don't know. I've never been in a city before, so maybe I, I shouldn't say anything, but it just doesn't feel right to me. Like, there can be safety without control. Well, you also My village was, for a long time, was safe. If we didn't have any real internal conflicts, it was from the outside who came and harmed us. How well, many people lived in your village? Yes. I have no idea. Don't ask me. Don't at me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that far ahead. Okay, don't at me. I mean, it wasn't... We weren't a city like this. We weren't that big. We were rural. We were farmers and... But... It was still people who came from the outside armed us. I don't know. It just seems... I don't know. I don't... I don't think a city controlled by fear is a great place to be. It's not the best, but there aren't many other places where you can get, you know, good sushi at 3 a.m. That's... That is different. I do wonder if that place is still here. I don't I don't know what sushi is, but I don't know if it's if it's worth what we just saw. Well, in big cities, one of the big things that you have to take into account, you need more laws, more crackdown because if you let corruption fester, then it just causes this but, and so you need more laws in order to nip certain things in the butt but, but what if the people who make the laws are corrupt and that's the issue so I mean if it, if the city is built on corruption itself then yeah of course there's going to be corruption mm-hmm. you can't it can't get rid of what's in the foundations, right? Well, you have to rework it. Sometimes you have to destroy it and build up new. But I can definitely tell you there are people fighting against corruption, even though they might not be as explosive as what we just saw. <laughs> There's always people fighting for a better world. And the, the city itself was not necessarily built on corruption, but after the cataclysm, you know, after everything happened, unfortunately, you know, vacuums are terrible. And when there's no power, sometimes it, the wrong people will move in to take that power. It, it, it is true. The city, from what I remember of my childhood, it wasn't like this. I and think then, that... Oh, sorry, go ahead. And then, as he said, the, uh, the fighting happened, and this happened. And you just see her kind of look around and have this very far-off look like she's going back into her memories. I think for Sabine, like, she had definitely been seeing, like, everything through 
I guess somewhat rose colored lenses because it's a new place. So it was like shiny and fun and like seeing, you know, first the like the explosion and the people hurt by it. And then seeing that person get shot point blank in the streets has really put a damper on like how she felt about being here. And she's like, she doesn't say it out loud, but you could tell like on her face, it's like, she is no longer having fun. She no longer thinks this place is great. She kind of, she would rather just go back to the Beer Baron's mansion. <laughs> Welcome to the small town girl, you know. Think, oh, look at that, all the wonders of the shiny color of the city. Like, yeah. yeah. This place is fucked. You, know? you came from sure. a place that had like maybe 150, but most. Yeah. Massive people, man. A place where you, just crossing the street, you probably saw 150 people already. Don't Keep... know. Please. And I think Go ahead. I was just gonna say I think too like you know their their point about the cataclysm like Sabine kind of thinks like well my village went through the cataclysm and you know it was destroyed and we rebuilt and didn't have this so it just but, uh, seems like it just seems like there was room for it to happen to begin with hmm. and maybe uh, what may not have seemed corrupt before the cataclysm, maybe it was corrupt. Like, I don't think Zach, Zach was alive for it. So, like, whatever he knows, it's, like, based off of history books and, like, winners write history, right? Mm -hmm. That's true. Um, but do, do please keep in mind that um, the, the individual that was shot was not innocent. It no, and I understand that. I'm not trying to defend them or their actions, but I mean to just just, just shoot someone. Is it sorry and don't exactly have a point blank in himself? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Like I mean, but just to like just shoot them point blank, that just that doesn't seem right either. No, it doesn't. No, nope. But both sides were definitely wrong. One injured how many people did anybody like, actually die in that in those explosions uh not that you, possibly uh, it was a lot of chaos so i'm sorry that somebody did or will die i think too like sabine recognizes that what that person did was wrong like blowing things up in like a residential area where it's just like people going about their lives yep. she would never that's indefensible but there's part of her that wonders like what drove this person to the point where they felt like they had to do that like what there's something underneath that that like that people just don't do that there's some kind of circumstance that drives them to do that and that's what she's wondering but she doesn't know she doesn't really know how to articulate that but that's what she's thinking. She's just like, well, I mean, but why? Like, why would you do that? You know? We are the product of our environment, our experience, so. But, yeah. Very disgusting. Matter. Here in the middle of the market bank. All of your tall, which. You no. Know, what appeared to be like gray. Whole middle building would just all blend together. If it was those pop of colors for like all those signage banners and things. I'm saying, like, oh, this is sponsored by the artist guild. Go on. There's like this advertisement for like tavern, restaurant, shops everything whatever your heart desire should we pick up supplies first or should we go and talk to the baron's friend oh uh, let's get shopping out of the way there's a few things i need to pick up same because if we're possibly going to go explore old random places again i want to see about getting some lock lock picks or a lock break if we're able to find one so 
just some minor things that I want to see if Welcome we can back, pick fair. up. Yeah. Jeez, it happened. Yeah, somehow the tab got muted and I have no idea because I did not touch it whatsoever. <laughs> it like just did it on its own. Oh, I ha I've uh, had that happen. And it's... Technology, it happens. Like I was just Real sitting, fun. like I, I couldn't have done it because I was just sitting here eating, <laughs> so. So who of us already owns a handset? I know I do, and I think one other person um, bought one at the beginning. With let me check. Money. I, th I think it was me. I was extremely Yes, poor. I have a handset. Okay. So then we're going to need two more to just have yeah. some for each of us. I'm going um, to be picking up a handset as well. So. I want to I'm encrypt sorry. them so that it's private communication for us as well. What else are we buying? Because I couldn't hear for a while. Oh, whatever else you might want. It, like, if oh, you, well, you could probably find a, a power weapon here. and Yeah. Oh, I just didn't know if you guys had discussed other things before I was able to come back. I oh, no. In asking. particular, I, I, I have a few things that I, I need to grab. Um... Uh, uh, I would uh, definitely go for buy more batteries. Just to yes, have them. yes, that was one of the things. Yes, need lots of batteries. Um, yeah, I need a data reader. Um, so, I'm gonna go through my list uh, real fast. Lock picks the handset, the wa a watch. I'm gonna get two binoculars, so that we can have two people being able to do that. A hand mirror, a rope, another dagger, uh, some throwing knives, matches, scout armor because her armor has a hole in it due to the creature. I'm gonna get a pick up a rapier so I can use it for later, and then a lock break with batteries. And I've already calculated all the math. Um, okay. Yeah, I already looked up all the pricing and everything for all my chunk of stuff. Somebody's gonna have to do math for me. <laughs> all right, uh, so... Just give me the list and I'll give you. Okay, I'll have to... Trying to get the cybernetic eyes. Just kidding. <laughs> Kinda. I mean, we're gonna be here for a week. I don't know what the, the you know, how long it takes to recover, but... I. That's true, but no, I'm not gonna do that. Now, I would like to be a little judicious with my money and I don't really see the point in having them right now so how do you wish to approach your search for stuff things journey to any material gains um well it seems like a lot of it is tech um, oh, I, the, I mean, the prices are all right here in the thing, but okay. Um, is this is mostly tech. We'll just look for tech stalls. Mm -hmm. All the prices are somewhere. I, have, I was, looking uh, I have like a fucking thing open. Page 22 of the Titan Scrape book. Mm -hmm. How many things have been <laughs> <laughs> I need to look up uh, All right. rope again because that's the okay. only one oh, I think it. Uh, there's a few ways that you can go around the, uh, the right look for the right shop spend time and actually search for or you can attempt to get with the local uh, however you approach it communication skills need that will be needed, and that will depend on your well, right? Okay. So, how do you guys want to go about looking for these places? Or Just take a store and go for party. It. Yes, we could spit the party. That's true. Nothing ever you. goes wrong when that happens, ever. Yeah, no, never. Um. So, what's? I mean, how often do the stores in the in in this place change? Uh, you know that, you know, there's a few pop-up shop here and there, 
and some, you know, place art has been established since day one and are still around. Things with more uh, well, oh, that Inter interesting curiosities and trinkets sometimes are n not around very often. Pop here and there, but you, uh, you, you can do a quick, you know, search around. But you look. There may be new and interesting locations since your last visit. Right, 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 right. Yeah, because the only thing that's not tech that I think would be awesome, um, if we could find a decent magical item vendor. Ooh, got my yeah. eye on something. <laughs> what you got your eye on? Uh, basically, the system's version of a bag of holding. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Forget what it's called, but... Rogue's Purse. Oh, nice. I would need to if I could find a that dagger thing. that could, I stab and it does an electrical pulse, including the... Uh, does the Zappy Zap, I would be happy. Well, I mean, that's kind of the power weapon. You that's stick true. a battery into it, and then it does plus two damage. No, so if it's with, it can be built. If can like a sword be made into a power weapon or something? Yeah. Every melee actually... weapon except for fists or improvised weapons. Um, uh, fists, not with that attitude. I mean, I mean, you, you can... fist that weapons sounds, that's like, specifically. That's like that just sounds mm -hmm. like somebody who didn't try. <laughs> right? No, I, I suppose if you have a cybernetic limb, maybe mm, you can just get like some uh, brass knuckles. Or a taser hand. <laughs> yeah, or a taser. Yes, taser a taser hand. Taser hand. <laughs> Backhand, somebody. Where is rope? Rope, rope, rope. What is your price, rope? Rope. Oh, there it is. It's two silver. Two. Now where did I put it on my list? There you are. Um. But yeah. So if we're just looking for general tech stuff first, what would we, um. Is it is it is ever so? Is there like a certain area of the market where it's like tech and then food and art uh, or, or whatever? Is it just all random? Yeah, and, you know, wherever somebody can find a spot. You know, <laughs> where's the fantasy shop? Best Buy at? <laughs> yes. Surprisingly, this franchise has got made its way. It's like <laughs> it's like all those like zoning issue and complicated politics. Well, do we know where in the market bank our contact is? Do we know where? That is not something that you. Okay. okay it's not so a name that you came we... across any previous days around here. Okay. You okay, may have so... to actually look. Ask around. Let us ask. We can ask if there's a tech stall that we can look into to get our techie stuff. Uh, weapons merchant would be another one. Our General, armor. General good store, maybe. Weapons and armor usually kind of sometimes go hand in hand. Um, and then general good store for our other stuff. Um, let's see. And then the person that we're looking for. What was her name again? Varkaya. Varkaya. Okay. Um, Callie's gonna look around and see if she notices anybody who uh, looks like they're knowledgeable that oh. she might be able to hit up and go, "Hey, uh, can you help me out here?" Can do. You know what? I mean, there's plenty of people that are local. I'm not gonna make mm -hmm. you roll for being. I'm just gonna you know make you do a communication t test. How you, however you want to approach it, that is up to you. Persuasion. Yeah, you can. Uh, persuasion, etiquette. Okay. Or you can turn on, or turn on the charm to eleven, and you'll flirt. Up to you. Yeah, it depends. If I uh, stunt, I might do some little bit of flirting. Ooh. If I stunt, 
and I have what stunt. I need. Stunt. Let's see. Okay, I got the role playing stunts up. Okay. Um, excuse me. Uh, do you think you can help us? And I'm going to roll. And you approach to that. Well, you know, uh, half elven, female, dark, long, long dark hair, a uh, bit of a darker skin as well. Um, okay, and my persuasion is. You. Let's see, that we. 15 for persuasion. Uh, yes, um. Let's see. Do you think you can help us find a few places? Um, let's see. We're looking for like a general goods store, a weapon and armor kind of merchant, and like a tech merchant, as well as. Um, Zach, what was that person's name again? Uh, Farkaya. Farka- uh, a woman named Farkaya. We were told that she could probably help us with a few things as well. And she takes a moment about, you know, I mean, she, she immediately like, started pointing at a few, like, places that are also familiar to you. I mean, like, you know, they have relocated a few places here and there, but, uh, like, for, like, general goods, weaponry, things like that. We- weaponry, you know, it's, it's, you ask around and, you know, be careful all your approach to stop. Okay. I've heard lady that has at least that on her shop. It's a bit of a weird curse shop just at the back end. Uh, you, you continue on down this that, that little relax. I'd say it's you know hard to miss, but at least. Her, it, it, she has a really, really small mm-hmm. sign in her window. Okay. It, you can find her, and I've never seen her. Well, awful, she will be. That was a recommendation from her. Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Um, here, take the silver as a thank you. For giving me the information. She looks around. Oh, Have a nice day. Come on, guys. Let's uh, go get our stuff. Can go shopping. Girl, good store. Get flashlight. Uh, a few batteries. Uh, what kind of batteries does the? Sorry, I ch- I couldn't remember if I was muted or not. I had to come back to the tab. Um, <laughs> uh, what kind of batteries does the general store sell? Uh, it has. Right, my list of various capacities. Batteries, batteries, batteries. I mean, M's are yeah. everywhere. Yeah, with ten a, charges. Yeah, there's a few. Uh, we we'll get M like batteries. They, they, they may they have like five in stock. They have like one regular Fulgen battery in there, and one, one. Uh, big ass various uh, variety of battery as well. Um, things have been you know, Feel like... being flying off the shelves, shelf here and there. And... Um, I was just gonna buy a. I'll buy the the one fulgent battery. All right. That is... Did you, or did we want to like buy the, the big daddy one? Um. Yes. Okay. Uh, with a vehicle, it could end up being very necessary. Yeah. Oh. And you said Are there you were five of the M's. Yeah, just five M's. Uh, just one, okay. just, ger- uh, just one general ful- uh, fulgent and one general Sorrenti. Yeah, Callie will be taking okay. two of them. I'll buy the other three fulgent M's then. All right, okay. so you're buying the fulgent one. That's fifteen silver. Mm-hmm. You're buying the big ass one, right? Seventy-five silver. 
And you're buying three more? M? Yeah, I'm, bu I'm buying three of the M's and the big one. So that's... Yeah, yeah and I'm going to take so. the other two M's. Okay. Katie, so I'm putting my list in the, the uh, Discord chat so you could do that. <laughs> full get M, <laughs> one or five silver each. Mm -hmm. The full gen is 15. And yep. Curious a lot, is 25 silver. Yep, I already got them marked out on my list here. I'm glad I asked. Because mm -hmm. I'll be like, I want three Fulgent batteries, please. And like, there's just one. I mean, none and of that you, dude just none of gonna be like super no stock, right? Yeah. But like that, they have like rows and rows and rows, like you know, of you the one product is whatever they can get, sell, and and these aren't the only stores in town. Oh, yeah. this is just the marketplace. There are other established, you know, brick and mortar style stores around as well. Oh, yeah. so. You can also go to other like you know shadier area that you can get. Or... There's always oh, yeah. a place for, to get things around town. That's, yeah, that, that's, that, you know, that's, that's one of the perks of the big cities. There's always, you know, a place where you can find what you need. What cost, though, that's a different thing. So, uh, I'm not sure if Avalyn had uh, armor. I don't know. I don't have her dollars. Absolutely. Let's see. She was I doing her she... rolls and stuff on roll yeah. twenty. So. Yeah. Yeah. It is power armor or power weapon? Wall. I can do some of these. Great. I have an armor rating of. Not sure if. It... If anything, so we're gonna fix it post session. <laughs> Can and she's she's not even really here at yeah. the moment. She's she's you know passed out in a hotel room. Yeah. She has a weekend off shop the around. acid. And who we're, knows we're, if you know uh, shopping separately. Yeah, we're we're uh, taking notes of her. We're making sure we are finding the you know the mm -hmm. booths that she would want to go to, and like like marking on a map like where they are, so we can come back with her later when she wants to go shopping. So. All right, that's 240 silver for me. That make it a day a pile of fucking money. Kind of. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's for a flashlight, a data reader, a night vision mask, and the batteries. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, after all, she gets 25, let me see, 27 and gold and three silver is her shopping thing. Unless she finds a power dagger, then that might be a little bit more. We do have a week. You could potentially get it custom made. That's true. Yeah. So, but shall we go to the armory or wherever? Like, yes, let's go to the armory since we've picked up the what we need from there. Uh, was she able to actually find at the tech place? Uh, let me bring it up real fast. The lock break. Give me a search. Because you're essentially like in, in that little either search or com Uh well, I mean like, communication is what Callie does. Uh well searching perception doo -doo -doo, that would be fourteen. Human just around, you know, he was in store. I have one back. Get a coin. Uh, she slips him a gold. Right. Can you do me a favor and just temporarily log the woman over there? Okay. It's not exactly something legal. <laughs> and comes back around, you know. That item in a pouch. Anybody ask? 
Yeah, just not here that you got it, right? I don't know who you are, and I don't know where this is. Exactly. That's how I like it. I just dropped my gold. I just dropped my uh, silver in your pocket. Anybody ask around I... for you? Never seen you. Yeah. I don't I... know who you are. Never issue, right? I don't know where I am. Yeah, I know. I got hit at all. No, I really don't know where I am. I'm just following you guys. What? I couldn't find this place again. <laughs> that awkward moment when you're from all town and go to big city and just are just you lost like big like two quarter and just like vertical. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Sabine take goes right and then takes another right and then another right and then another right and then wonders why she got she ended up in the same place. <laughs> what is happening? What's going on? What? <laughs> but you were looking for, I do believe, like data reader as a screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Data reader, yeah. Uh, night vision mask, flashlight. No, you can find one. It's not, you know, the latest models, but you know, it will do. Yeah, I mean, it just reads yeah. data. Disks. It is, it is, it is, it is, you know, quote unquote functional. I'll fix it up. I, I just need the bones. Yeah. <laughs> And fl uh, flashlight, you know, to plenty around. Mm. Now, the hard one might be finding a night vision mask designed for a Saurian. Yeah, you may have to mm. go to a bit more Saurian only place, shop. Most likely. Right, because eye placement, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, take two masks and you know, duct tape it together into a Great note. It has to fit comfortably on the face. Yep. Just get a couple of night vision monocles. <laughs> <laughs> These uh, are magic. Those are night goggles. Which one would you like? Oh. Sorry, no. Good. Part of the shopping done. Shop here. Um, so, you know, possible uh, finding contact. Uh, yeah, let's go. Um, let's go find Farkaya. Farkaya. Now, it's really. I'm pretty sure this is wrong, but when I when I wrote down okay. or typed the name last week, as you said it, yeah. What is what is the last name? Because I've written down annoyed, it, and I figure it was just something for, similar. Yeah, it, it's for kind of knowing. No, no, okay. The knowing. She doesn't have the any. Knowing. She doesn't, doesn't have any <laughs> last name. She's just okay, knowing. Okay, so I miss her. Okay. I mean, she might be annoyed once you finish doing business with her, but you know, that is a you problem at this point. <laughs> She's either gonna love Sabine or be annoyed by Sabine, so we'll see. Yeah, it's either it or miss, right? Yeah, there's no in between. Wow, interesting. <laughs> you guys weren't supposed to agree with me, so now I'm wondering. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. We don't have enough time for that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, no. I'm sorry, you guys. I have to. I suddenly have to quit the show. Something came <laughs> up. Y'all know that, you know, we love fair. He's amazing. So I'm talking about the other hand. I know I'm no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <sighs> uh, Sabine gets lost in the city. You'd never see her again. Yep. <laughs> I come, I come back with a new character that's twice as annoying and dumb. Oh no! <laughs> you know, if if something happens to Sabine, I'm just letting y'all right know right now. I'm coming back with a barbarian, and they're going to be loud and annoying. <laughs> so, right. brace yourself. I mean, tall, muscular women are. I mean, a weakness to Calistra and myself. So. She'll be an absolute herbo. <laughs> so. Oh, that's going to be an interesting moment if that happens. <laughs> Anyways. So, yeah, we go uh, looking for um, 
Farkaya. Farkaya yes. the annoyed. <laughs> annoyed. <laughs> All right. So, going through the uh, district, avoiding you know unsavory people as possible, so, and following the direction that we were provided by kind of lady. You come across a small establishment, a small building. A um, simple metal door, uh, no signage on it, but there's a, uh, a small window right next to it with metal blinds that could probably, you know, just flip and take the inside of the place. Uh, the blinds here, like, are hardly able to see anything, but there's a small neon sign that says shop. Makaya to know it. I imagine. I'm sorry. What? I imagine her shop looks like those like psychic shops where it's like the neon lights. It's like car tarot reading, palm reading, just the hand up there. With the eyeball like, on like, it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. All seeing like, eye, like, and it's just like, oh, you know, you go in here and you get scammed. You open the door and it's just patchouli. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, this is going to be interesting. So, you open the door. And it's dimly lit inside. It's but your eyes adjust. It is a bazaar of things, trinkets, odds, and curiosity. Um, looking for weird and particular. Maybe at the back end of a shop, you do the counter and at the ceiling, just hanging from there, there is some articulate arms made of metal, uh, which very uh, like almost like looks like a spider like contraption with uh, various like tools, magnifying glass, scanners, and all. All the tools that one may need to appraise, understand objects or whatever may come across there and their path right there just above reach. And you can just take a quick glance around, although it's very hard to take grasp of all things that are near, like. All on like objects, technologies, like knickknacks, and found you see behind a corner counter what appeared to be most likely Arkaya herself. Narrow yet fairly like muscular, thinly and lean yet you know, tough looking. Almost fifty percent. You know, she's difficult to you know grasp. You know, how, you know, she, you know it, take, it takes a hard look to you know get at what she, she looked like, but you make it further than your mind. Um, and you see, like her like long silvery hair tied in a bun. Her darker, which contrasts with her dark, dark like darker skin, like more here and she just look at you like raise it like a not not binocular but magnifying glass plants that she was looking at something and just look at you with a curious look her outfit is a layer of like all sorts you know fashionable thing but like from a decades ago She's an odd lady, but she's there, and this is her shop curiosity. Well, thank you, random pop up that just tried to make noise. I mean, she's apparently a good friend of the beer baron. Of course, she's gonna be weird. Yeah. (laughs) 
Sabine walks in and is like, hi. <laughs> and you see her like bend over the counter, just like put her elbow on it and in her hands. Well, hello there, little one. Hi, my name's Sabine. Um, well, it's nice to meet you, Farkaya. Um, well, the Beer Baron recommended that we come see you about something. Really? Must have been that old fool getting up to these days. Um, well, ruined the beer. Um, his brewery got attacked, but we fixed it. Um, and that's it. I mean, he was also attacked by bandits as well. Oh, yeah, he got attacked too. Him. The bandits yep. are not that interesting. The Hellions, on the other hand. She raised an eyebrow. All right, well, you know, if you... That old fart, for luck. <laughs> can I help you? Um, what? Uh, Gerlach said you, you may be able to help us identify and I, this. And as soon as you put it out, you barely like to reach and she, her hand extend, grab the thing and high flying glass go over it. And it's ready. He's like that. <laughs> oh yeah, no shit. That's just, like, that's just something out of hand. Like, it, mm. Uh, I, uh, interesting. All right. Uh, it's gonna take me a, a little bit. Uh, let's take a look around. I'm gonna take a look at this. Oh, huge! You can see that she absolutely loves being odd and unusual things, and trying to understand them. Odd and unusual. So you just made her very happy. So, if while she's looking at this, if any of you wish to know, go around, find whatever you may be looking. Not necessarily like a full for like adventure, but just your old things you may want to find for yourself. Your uh, curiosity, so maybe something that may be reminding you distant times or place. Feel free to tell me what you're looking, maybe looking for, and just do, give me a quick. You will find a lot of weird things here. Uh, for oh. some reason, I could see Zach Green uh, coming across what would basically be the equivalent of like a Tamagotchi. Huh? Give me a search. <laughs> An ancient Tamagotchi. Right, right, right. It's pooped itself to death already, but we can just reset it. <laughs> uh, what would a search be under? Perception? Uh, perception, yes. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, 15. And you do, you look, you look around like there's like all sorts of weird bobbles and, you know, broken device that are just there probably for parts. And just find this little no glow for some reason. You see this little trinket that you need to hang on a keychain. Like this like round, like maybe like an inch and a half, like metal thing. But just a little small screen and like maybe a few buttons on it. And you press on it. You know, just you know, seeing hey, you know, it, 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 it's functional. And those like weird little pixelated little characters popping out on the screen. It is, it is essentially a Tamagotchi, but you know, you know just distinct enough that, you know, there's no copyright issue. Right, right, right. right it's, it's a, a Tamagotchi. It's, it's a Tamagotchi. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's a, a Tamagotchi, yeah. um, you know, legally distinct. Legally distinct. Right. It's not a, it's not a nano pet. It's a mini pet. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, if there's no company of those who wish to sponsor this. <laughs> Actually, please don't. I still have flashbacks from my childhood, like PTSD flashbacks, because I had a bad experience with one once, and it still haunts me to this day. <laughs> like, <laughs> years later. Like, one, I brought it to school, even though I wasn't supposed to, and it started making this high-pitched noise, 
that everyone could hear and it did it all day oh. and I didn't know what to do and then somebody finally like smashed in the gr on the ground. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's rough, buddy. I was like, oh, I was like, t like ten or eleven. It was horrifying to me. <laughs> but yeah, you do find that weird curiosity. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. It's ancient tech. That's that's. Yeah. It's 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 from the the before times, you know. Before the great apocalypse, right? Yeah, um, video games. Yeah, Callie's gonna look for books, oh. like really weird books. What sort of books are we looking for? Because I can go from you know weird smut to <laughs> no, like no, I'm not book gonna bring that in. Or uh, story book. Oh, let's go history. Ooh, that's not bad. Uh, that would be 13. Uh, it takes you a little bit of a while, you know, to find an old literary book. Two page are missing, damaged, or fragile in time. And it is written in Elven language. Oh. Is it be just like old history or uh Darian came Volcana it is old as balls. It is it's like you recognize it as Elven, but it's like it's when you're trying to like read old English. Mm -hmm. you no, know, it's some terms are just weird. <coughs> Until you get used to it. Yeah. I think I'm going to take this with me. Oh my god. <laughs> I just read that. Um, okay. Two things but to be It was right to next to, you know, I... no, oh, sorry, a novel. <laughs> I think Sabine snatches that off the shelf before Callie can even see it happen. <laughs> um, oh, but yeah. uh, mud book I think yeah, of course. I think Sabine uh, would also want to look for um, like a camera maybe. Okay. Something like that. All right, uh, just a GoPro. Just yeah, go, uh, oh, go. I rolled my I rolled my search earlier, but I was still trying to think of what I wanted. <laughs> What, what I got want? a 20. 20? You do find, um, it's not exactly a GoPro, it's more like a Polaroid type of deal. And you do find, you know, next to it, like a little box of blank Polaroid. It may, it may be like a flat pen in there. Okay. Nice. Oh, and, um, can I, can I have this? And raise her hand. Uh, everything is for sale. Uh, how much? That uh, will be. And she look at her ledger, because you know, like she. That is one gold piece with silver. Okay. Uh, so how much for a... this history book? Oh. I, I, I can understand, understand that book. I put it about like tiny silver. Okay. I thought it was ten to one, not a hundred to one. Am I wrong? Oh, yeah, no, never mind. Yeah, ten to one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is nine. Yeah. well, gold or ten silver, not a hundred silver. Okay, yeah. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all, all the calculations I did have been wrong. Yeah, nope. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I put a gold t t as well for the book. And then I, I, I hope I dangle the thing up. Oh, that thing is working. 
I don't, it's a gold for that tooth. Is it a gold for my my romance novel? <laughs> sure. <laughs> how okay? So well, how, it, how dime store is this novel? Because I might have to haggle. <laughs> and is it written in Saurian or is it like yeah, common? No, it's, it, it, it's written in common tongue. It's, it, it, it is a translation of the novel. I mean, if you wish to haggle, uh, is it communication yeah. skill you can have for that? Oh, I'll try. It, I don't know if it's worth. I don't know if this is worth the gold. Uh, communication bargaining. I think I have a focus in that, but I'll have to check this out. Okay, so for the history book, Ooh. it's nine gold then. Yep. Or is it just okay? Nine. I did my math right. Oh, I do have yeah, a, it's okay. A, it's a collector's piece. Another twenty. Wow. All right. Uh, that's not like ten off. So nine silver. That's not bad. Nine silver. Okay. I mean, just wait until you get after. She hands over. She hands over the silver and is like, "Oh, oh, I can't wait. This is gonna be." Yeah, I, it's been a while since I've been able to read a good book, and since we're here for a bit, uh, hopefully I can. Yes, that's what that's what people say uh, says when you know. I mean, like re reading from the good book. They're talking about smut. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, it is good book. I mean, but let's be honest, the actual good book it do begin a little freaky deaky. Oh in yeah, there. You do. <laughs> the song, mm -hmm. song of song. Song of Psalms, like... Mm. It is freaky deaky. People don't want to admit <laughs> it, but it is. After a little bit of, you know, shopping here and there, there's, be like, next to her, like, a scanning and creating a 3D image of the globe. Hmm. And she just like end bag the, the globe to use a crane and she go through the scan. Wrap it back up and shove it back into my bag. I mean, it may take me some time. That's me. Are you okay? Yeah, my cat was on my lap and then decided to sneeze all over my legs. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel that. Yeah. And I'm wearing shorts, so it was not. Oh, no. It was not fun. <laughs> uh, things happen. Wait, take me some. Let, let's come back tomorrow. Tomorrow is fin the festival. Yes. Which festival? The part of uh, the fallen, uh, caution of the fallen, period. And oh, celebrate those uh, that fell. They also won. Memories. The equivalent of you know, day of me. Which like All part? Saints Day or yeah, yeah. The, you know, there's many you know real world that. Oh, I mean, you can. You, I, I, I think I have like can here and take it back if you don't. So bring it here. I can two days, maybe three. Oh, I should, I should have answers. Okay. Well, um, if you if you have something for us sooner than that, uh, you can find us at the festival hotel, or you can send word to us there. And you see, she's looking at you anymore. She's just looking at the can and fascinated by it. Thank you for the help. And um, thanks for the books. You enjoy. <laughs> Feel free to come back and shop some more. Yeah, absolutely. This is the first place I found that I like. 
Well, we've only been in the city a few hours. <laughs> Hopefully you'll find um, more. A lot's happened in a, those That's few true. hours, and this is the only place that I like. <laughs> yes, it's nice. You'll probably enjoy the parade tomorrow. That's true. Maybe. No one were freaky, it's not gonna go well. Um, <laughs> what do you mean? I you know I, <clears throat> Nothing. Oh, it's going well in my campaigns. It is never a dystopian mm-hmm. setting ever. I mean <laughs> We also have to take into account we kinda do run into things too when we could just say, nah, we're gonna just leave it. Explosion, fire, this. and screams? Meh. <laughs> Dead before. I got. I need to get new clothes. Which new is shit. easy enough, like you know, with shopping montage. Yeah. Or like, maybe like a pocket of silver. Yeah. Probably like fine, you know. Loading place, what has been damaged, extra. No, just oh, yeah. back up, you know, because he needs new clothes. I just remembered that. <laughs> traveling will have some wear and tear on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, <clears throat> I was just going to say, I feel like Sabine doesn't think she needs new clothes, and then Callie tells her that she's wrong. <laughs> Now I just look down and go, there's a hole there, there's a rip there, there's a... I don't know what the hell that stain is. Could be blood oh, or... From that burger. <laughs> it was really... they. It was really rare. It Let's was like go. two weeks ago. Let's we don't... Go it's not like we have a chance to wash our clothes. And on that note, uh, if we are, since we we will have a vehicle, uh, might be wise to have additional outfits. Yeah, so we can switch out of it and be more comfortable and wash clothes. Oh my god! I use the shower to wash my clothes. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that you can eat like the local laundromat, things like yeah. that, if needed. <laughs> yeah, you, you are laundry able- day. Laundry day. <laughs> so tune in ne- uh, next week, like for long- la- laundry stream. Yep, next session is laundry it's just, session. It's, it's yeah. gonna be the, par- the whole party, like at laundromat for like two hours. Yep. <laughs> Talking oh, shit, yeah. cleaning clothes. Over here this playing on the Tamagotchi. This still isn't try. I don't understand. I put it on the highest setting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna use the overlay for like the battle map and just like put like a play, uh, just like. A video of like a washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite show. <sighs> well, luckily for Sabine, she can get her clothes cheap because she just shops in the kids section. <laughs> Callie has to go for the more high end, given her height, and she's just like, "Of course, they only have this in my size." So yeah, how much for a good set of clothes? Uh, well, well like, would you like maybe like behind like, silver? Uh, per set. Yeah. Okay. Unless you're, go- get... I'm honestly like going for like really really fancy things, like you know, I hand like double. And how much would that be? Uh, that would probably be like no. That's a seven silver set. And if you want to really uh, want to custom made, you can go like up to gold and more. Uh, okay, how so much are the how much are the kids' clothes? Half price. <laughs> <laughs> For each of them. <laughs> okay, so she's gonna get like a few good and a few fancy. Cause I mean, it's Calistra. She needs to be fancy. I feel like Sabine would mostly get like casual slash travel wear, um, and then like one, maybe one fancy outfit on Calistra's insistence, because <laughs> you just never know. She'd be like, "We don't go to 
fancy places. They, I'm never, they don't invite us there. It's like, buy it anyway. Buy it because you can be cute. I thought you I was already that. cute. Your cuteness will be tenfold. It enhances okay. your cuteness. <laughs> All right, yeah, so I'll get like three travel sets and like a nice nice dress i don't know we can discuss prices later because i'm forever confused and yeah <laughs> i'll math it out just uh tell me the how many of each and i'll math it we, we can fit uh, adjusting right so yeah as we're actually closing on our shopping mountain uh, you know going back to the hotel Abilene's slowly waking up from her nap and that is where we're going to leave a nice session as oh, we get her first yeah. impression on what is the beauty of Miss Dora chopped around, got a few things <laughs> and tomorrow actual real life tomorrow next session and in the tomorrow day of the campaign and will be buried how that goes that should mm -hmm. be fun mm -hmm. and interesting so uh before we go i'm gonna let my one ask himself you know they are and all because they are wonderful i appreciate it. and they take to share a chaos with me <laughs> um it's going for nice overlay next to this fair hi everyone i'm fair uh i uh follow me on twitter at twitch wow i'm so backwards follow me on twitter at fair bear <laughs> um i also sometimes stream on at twitch uh twitch.tv slash fair bear um, I pretty much stream whenever I want. I might do some tomorrow. We'll see. Um, other than that, you can find me on Rolling D's 20 Saturday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern for uh, Philly by Night, our Vampire Masquerade campaign. We just started season three, so it's not too late to get into it now, y'all. So check us out. Um, again, follow me on Twitter. That's where you'll know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Oh, and Tiny Tots. Tune in on the 31st for Tiny Tots. <laughs> uh, can't wait. Keep an I eye really on can't social wait to post all about it. Uh, Jiggles. Hey, I'm uh, Jiggles the Fat. You can catch me on Twitter and Twitch at the same. Um, Tomorrow night, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing the streaming, but uh, this upcoming Sunday, you can catch me on Dibbles and Dice's channel for our weekly Dungeons and Dragons Acquisitions Inc. game. We're getting real close to the end of what we're doing, um, and it should be exciting. Yes. And uh, I can get campaign. I've caught a few parts here and there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with the crew that you have, it's it's something oh it's it's something all right like i mean the, the best way to you know explain it is something but you know if you want to know what something is just go check it out it changes every 20 minutes what yeah. that something is yeah <laughs> it's amorphous. as a good D, &D session should okay <laughs> oh yeah good flow it's great last but not least for tonight kitty Hey everybody, I'm Kitty. You can find me on uh, Twitter at InsaneKitty32. And you can also go check out my store, Causality Cat Studios on Etsy, where I sell uh, little adorable um, lucky charms that you can have on your desk called Dice Ramas. And yeah, uh, maybe someday I'll start actually streaming, but who knows? Right, that's pretty much it for me. For joining us tonight for wild chaos and <laughs> shopping and all things and we shall catch you thursday usual oh usual third time 
Seven. Um, and if they made game, adjustments for me, thank you. Because we love Bear. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. And if there's an, anything new, exciting happening on channel, the best place to find out channel that is happening is on the page. Link below, or just same name as the channel, but Twitter. I try to as as possible everywhere, and greater restriction out full, so. Most page was beyond character limit. So, um, <laughs> that is all Are we for reading? tonight. Thank you so much. Yes, we be. Uh, Dimples is on still. Yeah, I was gonna check who's on. I was gonna check with our friends, part of Barbarian, but they're off. Yes, you know, we spoke about, you know, Dimples and Dice, you know, prayer of. Chaos, and, uh, and other wonderful things. Yes. So let's go. And the storyteller for Philly by Night. He's yeah. an amazing game master, um, and just an incredible person. I love him to pieces. And a summer I regular to the channel because he was joined me last year. I did a Halloween special. He joined me for that. He joined Ooh, me for I love that. Uh, one shot called duck and cover which was all about like spy ducks it was this oh my I god <laughs> all right so uh yeah uh, stick around go give this wonderful game some love and we shall catch y'all thanks